Hey Pheasant Lane fam, I hope you're doing well. My name's Robert and this is Pheasant Lane Farm. So I came outside today to do chores early this morning and I'm kind of shocked. So I'm gonna get into that in a minute. So it is real air temp right now, according to my phone is negative three degrees. Um, we have a cheap dollar store thermometer over here on the wall, the tack room. <clears throat> says that inside the barn right now it's two degrees which is probably right uh, we have a black roof uh, so it does kind of radiate a little bit of heat in here and uh, our tack room which usually doesn't get down below like 45 ish degrees um, was under 40 when I came out this morning uh, we have a 110 gallon water tank in there filled up with water because I was getting ready prepared for this storm in case the power goes out um, you know we can't get water out of the well but another thing is, as you can see, we built this barn a year ago. We're still under construction. Um, got three horse stalls over here. We have a full coming soon. The barn's kind of busy right now. Um, just because of the fact the snowstorm, I got the tractor with the snow plow in here. Uh, we're working on new stalls over here yesterday. But what I'm really excited about is we run a hose to our barn right now to water all the horses, cattle, goats, hogs, you name it, chickens. Um, and we don't have a water line out here yet. We don't have permanent electricity out here. When I am out here working, I uh, use an inverter generator to light up uh, the 80 foot barn here. And uh, that's about it. But a couple weeks ago, I was on Facebook and I saw this cool little invention called a freeze miser. What it does is it hooks on the end of your garden hose. You leave your garden hose on. Um, it's not electric, there's no power, there's nothing like that. But uh, it's got a metal inside. Um, I'll put a picture up here if I find one. I, I don't think they'll mind. But what happens is when the water temperature gets around 37 degrees, uh, this little cylinder thing kind of shrinks up from what I understand, and it'll allow water to pass. So we've used it as low as 16 degrees. Uh, I feel my face freezing. We use, use it as low as 16 degrees and um, no issues. What it does is the, the, that metal will kind of shrink up on the inside and allow water to pass. Freeze, moving water is not going to freeze. But uh, they recommend 150 feet max. I'll be right now, I'll tell you we're over the 150 foot. We're about 200 foot of hose, uh, to be honest. So this isn't a thing saying do it. Um, I always do what they recommend, but our situation, the barn's just farther than our house. And like I said, we don't have water line ran out here yet. So when I ran out here this morning, I was pretty sure that thing was gonna be froze up. That's a lot of hose to keep moving at uh, below zero temperatures. And like I said, we uh, prepared ahead of time. I put a 110 gallon uh, stock tank in our heated tack room and um, filled that yesterday. Yesterday I was out here working, temps were in the 40s. So it's how much it's dropped. Uh, it was 41 degrees last night at 10 o'clock. Um, and at seven o'clock this morning, it was like zero. So uh, really a big drop there. But I was shocked to come out here and see that water or the uh, freeze miser. It's still got our hose freed up at negative three degrees, real air temp. Uh, the wind chill is negative 23 right now. We're here in Northwest Ohio. So let me go outside, let me show you this thing dripping, and then we'll go water some animals and show you that it's still working. I don't recommend using it on a hose longer than what they said. We didn't have anything to lose um, before. Like we built the barn last year. I have to fill up a big IBC water tank, haul it out here with the tractor and do chores that way. This thing's been a lifesaver. It makes things a lot easier, especially with someone uh, that almost lost their arm. So it uh, thing's fantastic. I can't believe it's working right now. Maybe it's a fluke, but let's walk outside. I don't leave it drained into my stock tank. Um, I actually took the cattle out of the little feed lot and they're locked inside the barn. Um, I just don't want them getting bruised feet out on the frozen mud right now. And it's supposed to be 58 degrees here on New Year's. So a week from now, it's supposed to be 58. Right now it's negative 23 with the wind chill. So we'll go out. I got this thing just kind of leaned over uh, a tree branch out here and let's go take a look. I'm amazed that this thing is still working. So by the lack of footprints, uh, you can tell I haven't been over here yet, but I could hear the water running. Uh, it looks like a scene from the kids movie Frozen. But look at this thing. Still running at negative three degrees. Unbelievable. So that's all it is. We go to a Y, just leave it on. Um, and then when it hits uh, 37 degrees, if it gets warmer during the day, it'll seal off the water. Sorry for the wind. 
I had to wait to come do chores for a while. The wind was so bad I couldn't see our barn. So uh, I really can't believe this thing's running right now, but I'm so excited. Oh, that's what we want to see. Cattle got snow on their backs. Means their bodies are retaining body heat. Good morning, Ozzy. Good morning, guys. Want some water? All right, let's see if this hose really works. All right, gonna try and do this with one hand. I haven't had this side open yet. You can see that's still running. Let's see what we got. A little frozen there, but unbelievable. So let's get these cows watered. Very, very impressed. I would have bet money that this would have been froze up this morning. 91 old Ronnie says, thanks freeze miser. Well, a little crunchy out there. But hey, to the freeze miser guys and gals, I just want to say thank you very much. This is not a sponsored video. These guys don't know me from Adam. Uh, I just happened to see the uh, ad on Facebook, figured I'd give it a try, read a bunch of reviews, and uh, couldn't be happier with the outcome. Like I said, negative three outside right now, uh, negative 23 to 25 wind chill, um, depending on uh, the wind gust uh, from what I saw in the news. So everybody, be safe, stay warm out there, and most importantly, make smart decisions, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.